Hi there. In the following video, I will show you the solutions to the AQA GCSE Unit 2 specimen paper. Let's start straight away by looking at question 1. Question 1 says, estimate the value of the square root of 99 over 19. In the exam, I want you to get in the habit of highlighting key terms. Estimate is the key term here, and estimate is another word for approximate or make a sensible guess at. It does not mean work out exactly. When we have estimation or approximation questions, we round every number we see in the original calculation to one significant figure and then work out the answer after that. So, 99, the first significant figure, well, is the first non-zero number you see reading from left to right. The 9 is in the tens column. So what's the nearest 10 to 99? Well, it's 100. So this whole thing here is almost, this sign means approximately equal to, the square root of 100. Then you look at the 19. The 1 is in the tens column. The nearest 10 to 19 is 20. So that's divided by 20. Well, what is the square root of 100? Well, it's 10, and you've got divided by 20. And 10 divided by 20, simplified fully, is a half or 0 0.5. Hence your answer, a half or 0 0.5. Nice, easy, straightforward question for two marks. Question two. Let's read this very carefully. There are different ways of doing this. The rate of VAT, that's value added tax, was reduced in December 2008 from 17.5% to 15%. Now, here is a lawnmower and it's for sale. The lawnmower is £140 plus VAT. That means after the 140 you have to add on whatever the VAT rate is. The question says, work out the difference between the price of the lawnmower due to the VAT reduction, due to the reduction in VAT. Now there are two ways to do this. The first way is you could work out the old price given the 17.5% uh, VAT rate. So old, you would say, well, you need to work out 17.5% of 140. Well, 10% of 140 is 14. So 5% of 140 is half that, which is 7. And 2.5% 2 .5 of 140 is half 5%, which would be £3.50. So in total, VAT must be £14 plus £7 plus £3.50 which adds up to £24.50, so VAT would be £24.50. That would have been the old VAT. Well, what's the new VAT? The new VAT is 15%, which is 10%, which is 14, plus 5%, which is 7, and that adds up to £21. Difference means the bigger number take away the smaller number, so the difference is £24.50 subtract 21, which is equal to £3.50. Do note in the exam, you cannot write 3.5, you will lose a mark because this is a money question. The answer is £3.50. Okay, I'm just going to rub this out and show you a quicker method here. Um, that method is reasonable. But there is a quicker method. Um, given uh, that the VAT has reduced from 17.5% to 15%, overall there's been a reduction of 2.5%. So we could just work out 2.5% of 140, and that would be our difference. Well, like we did before, 10% of 140 is 14, 5% of 140 is 7 and 2.5% of 140 is half that again which is £3.50. Hence 2.5% a reduction, the answer 
is a reduction of £3.50. And I think that is a slightly more elegant and easy solution. OK, let's have a look at question three. Now, this question is quite straightforward, but there's a, you've got to have a fair bit of thinking here. There's a lot of information going on, so it's about reading the question carefully and picking out the salient or key points. Barbara uses her car for work as a volunteer driver uh, for a local hospital. She is paid 40p per mile. So, payment is 40p per mile. On average, she drives 2,000 miles a month. And it says there are some running costs of her car. She uses uh, her fuel consumption. It, for every gallon, uh, she drives 50 miles, so 50 miles a gallon. And she pays 10p per mile, just other car running costs. For every, uh, the petrol costs her £5 for every gallon she uses. Now it asks us to, to calculate Barbara's annual fuel bill. Now annual means each year and they just want here the fuel, not other running costs, not anything else, just the fuel bill. Okay, well, what do we know about fuel? Well, we know um, fuel is £5 per gallon. And we also know that her car drives 50 miles for each gallon from here. And we also know that monthly, per month, she travels 2,000 miles. So the first thing we would like to do is work out how, uh, much, uh, how many gallons she uses a month on fuel. So gallons per month, well that must be how many miles she travels, 2,000, divided by the fact that she, uh, it, she uh, for each gallon she gets 50 miles. So divided by 50 and we would get 40 gallons a month. So her annual fuel bill then, if she does 40 a month, her annual fuel must cost 40, that's each month how many gallons she uses, multiplied by 12, multiplied by five pounds per gallon. Now, quite easy to do this, we're times in these numbers, let's times the 12 and the five first. 12 times five is 60, and 60 times 40 is 2,400 pounds. So on fuel, she spends £2,400 every year. OK, next question. After paying for fuel and other running costs, Barbara saves the money left over, and she's planning to use the money to pay for a holiday that costs £300. Will Barbara have enough money after one year? So the question we have to answer is either yes, she has enough, or no, she doesn't. OK, well, firstly, let's work out how much money she makes a year. What's her income? Well, just looking back on the previous slide, we're told she's given 40p for every mile she drives. So she is given uh, 0.4 pounds, and she travels, we said, she travels... 40, uh, she travels 2,000 miles a month, so multiplied by 2,000 miles a month, multiplied by 12 months in the year to work out how much income she makes. Well, let's have a go at doing this. 4 times 2,000 is 8,000, so 0 0.4 times 2,000 is 800, and 800 times 12 well, 800 times 12 must be £9,600. So her income is £9,600. Well, what are her costs? Well, we already know her fuel costs. We've done that in Part A. Her fuel costs, we said in Part A, are 2400 now we need to work out her other costs. Well, we're told 
Other costs are 10 p a mile, so 0.1 times 2,000 miles a month times uh, 12 for uh, 12 months in the year. 0.1 times 2,000 is 200, and 200 times 12 is another 2,400. So her leftover money, therefore, leftover must be equal to the 9,600, subtract the fuel cost and subtract the other cost. So that's equal to 9,600, subtract 4,000. 800, so she's left with £4,800. Better had answered the question, does she have enough money for a holiday of 3000 And you say, yes, she has enough. And you could say, because 4800 is bigger than £3,000. OK? Okay, let's move on to the next question. Question four. A magazine contains adverts, photographs, and features. A quarter of the pages are adverts, two fifths are photographs, and it's asking you what fraction are features. Well, if the magazine just contains these three things, they must total the total must be one. So what fraction are features? Well what we have to do is we have to firstly add up a quarter plus two fifths. If adding or subtraction fractions is your aim, make the denominators the same. Make the make them over twenty. So I'd have to multiply all of the top and bottom by five, so it'd be five over twenty. I'd have to multiply top and bottom by four, so it'd be eight over twenty that would be 13 over 20, are either adverts or photographs. Therefore, what, what must be left are features. So 1 subtract 13 over 20, i.e. 7 over 20, are features. So the answer for this is simply 7 over 20. 4b. 24 photographs uh, are in the magazine. The ratio of sports photographs to other photographs is 5 to 3. How many sports photographs are there altogether? Well, you know there are 24 photographs in the machine, and there are in total 8 parts to this ratio. So the first thing you need to do is you say 8 parts equals 24 photos, so one part is 24 divided by 8, which is 3 photos. And the sports, the sports are 5 parts, so 5 parts is 5 times 3, which is 15 photos. So the answer for this is simply 15. 